Hello and good day, Mike Atcock here with your Worldwide Tropical Outlook for today, the 28th of July, 2013. Uh, do have a handful of areas that we're tracking. Tropical Storm Flossie uh, leading the pack there just to the east of Hawaii. Do have some Tropical Storm watches and warnings there. Do have more information on a separate video that I've posted solely uh, updating Tropical Storm Flossie. Uh, check that out. Uh, also tracking Tropical uh, tropical Wave Dorian, the remnants of Dorian, uh, now listed as a Invest 91L. Uh, this is uh, approaching the Leeward Islands. 90L uh, off to the east of North Carolina, and then 99W uh, that is over the Visaya Islands in the Philippines. Uh, start us off with Tropical Storm Flossie at 12 Zulu uh, Central Pacific Hurricane Centers, placing at 965 kilometers east of Hilo, Hawaii. Uh, 55 knot winds gusting up to 65, and, and Flossie continues to move off to the west at 17. 996 for your pressure. Do have Tropical Storm warnings out for Hawaii and Maui counties. Tropical Storm watch out for Oahu. Really looking at a uh, significant rainfall with this system as it moves through. Uh, especially in portions of Hawaii and Maui counties, looking for possibilities of up to 15 inches, especially on the windward side of the islands, uh, may see up to a foot in Oahu. Um, in terms of the track, track guidance on this system, um, really not much more to say. High pressure off to the north, keeping it moving in a pretty much westerly fashion, so uh, portions of the Hawaiian islands will be affected uh, some form or another by Flossie as she moves through. Uh, good news is the intensity guidance does have it weakening. Uh, although water temperatures are, are pretty marginal right now, may start to increase as it passes through the Hawaiian Islands. But by the time it gets there, shear will really kick up. So pretty much uh, keeping an eye on this storm with the latest intensification, that may be a little bit of, of you know, cause for alarm, but uh, should be weakening over the next several days. All right, Tropical Wave Dorian uh, at 6 Zulu. This was placed 450 kilometers east northeast of Barbuda. Uh, 30 knot winds with this. Still tracking off to the west at 21 knots. Um, right now, National Hurricane Center is calling it a low chance at redevelopment 20% as it continues to pass north of the Leeward Islands in Puerto Rico today and Monday and moving into the southern Bahamas by Tuesday. Uh, environmental conditions are only marginally favorable for regeneration. Still a lot of dry air out there uh, battling some shear. Uh, once this system starts to slow down, that may be uh, you know, some for us to take note in, but right now uh, very, very low chance, at least in the near term, for development. Uh, there is an Air Force plane scheduled to check this system out later today. Uh, more on that here in a moment. Here's our track guidance again, tracking off to the west and west northwest, um, affecting the Bahamas coming Tuesday. We'll have to keep an eye on this uh, as it crosses uh, Cuba, and then if the models are, are you know, on point here. Uh, this will be something of, of interest once it gets into the Western Caribbean and towards the Gulf of Mexico, but, but we'll have to see if it even survives that long. Uh, here's our intensity guidance really all over the place. Bottom line, they're saying something might happen. What that is, who knows. Of course, all this model guidance is from yesterday at 18 Zulu. Now that it's been redesignated as 91L, uh, we should see another suite of models coming out here pretty soon. Uh, did mention that Reconnaissance is scheduled to check out Dorian. Teal 71 is going to be wheels up uh, here at 16 Zulu. A pretty short flight for them, about 30 minutes before they're checking out Dorian. So, uh, uh, and this will be about a four hour fixed mission. Teal 72 will go wheels up at 2.30 Zulu on the 29th. Again, sh short flight out there, four hours for a fix. And then the outlook was for 12 hourly fix, uh, fixes as needed. We'll have to see now that now that this has been classified as a wave versus a storm, uh, there should be a new uh, schedule coming out shortly on that. Uh, another disturbance, 90L, this is about 400 kilometers east of Jacksonville. This hasn't really been updated since 18 Zulu yesterday as well. Uh, National Hurricane Center is pretty much writing it off at this point, uh, saying that there's really no chance that it, now that it's moving over cooler waters, it's non-tropical in origin anyway 
pretty much done for. Uh, should continue moving off, affecting portions of Massachusetts, the all uh, portions of New England and the uh, Canadian Maritime provinces. Uh, should be bringing some gusty winds, some heavy showers, but that's about it. In terms of the intensity guidance, really not looking at anything much there. Really want to focus my attention on 91W. I believe this is going to be our next system that we're going to be talking about after Flossie. Uh, at 6 Zulu, this was placed about 105 kilometers south of Tacloban City in the Philippines or just east of Cebu City. 15 knot winds here. Uh, 1010 was what NRL was showing, but uh, probably a little closer to 1008, 1009 based on some nearby observations. Uh, JTWC is tracking it right now, calling a low, uh, low risk area. Um, that being said, not a whole lot of shear going on there. Some good divergence aloft. Uh, the models do track it uh, to moving off to the northwest. Um, so right now, the near term threat is this. There's a lot of land uh, to, that's going to prohibit or, or prevent this system to really get its act together. Um, but that being said, heavy showers, gusty winds throughout portions of the Philippines. Uh, and you can see that, I mean, we've got showers and thunderstorms affecting parts of northern Mindanao. All the Visaya Islands are really getting into it. Even uh, a large majority of Luzon uh, dealing with this disturbance. Um, once it starts tracking off to the northwest here in a couple of days, then we should see some sort of development, or, or the best chances at least for development, after about two to three days, once it's in the South China Sea. The GFS is pretty much the most bullish on the system, developing it in about three days' time uh, as it tracks off to the northwest. Does it become a tropical depression? Does it squeak up to a tropical storm strength? Still a little early to tell, especially now that it's, it's you know parked over the Visayas, but this will be something of concern as we see over the next couple days. Um, more to come on that, of course. This rounds up our outlook, though, for today. You can get this and more uh, analysis on the Western Pacific at westernpacificweather.com. Follow them out at uh, Facebook and Twitter. Of course, you can join in on the global tropical discussion at storm2k.org. Follow me on uh, Twitter at Senior Pepper to get updates in between videos. And I want to thank you all for tuning in. Have a great day and take care.